Preschool Tuesday, everybody. It's Mr. Kevin here. I'm happy to see you again. As you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, and Valentine's Day is all about showing the people you love that you love them. And that could be people in your family, like your mom or your dad, or that could be the friends that you have at school or at daycare. And there's a lot of artwork about friends and family, too. I bet you have drawn a picture of your mom or your dad before, or maybe the pets that you have at home, all the people that you love. And artists for a long, long time have done this. Here are just a few examples right here. We're going to take a closer look at one of these in just a little bit. So we're going to learn about friendship and love here in our artwork. We're going to uh, make a little craft later on where you can make a little family record of your own. And I'm going to tell you about one special thing that we're going to be doing a little bit later this month that's going to be really, really fun, and it's going to let give me a chance to talk to you live. So stay with us. The people you love and the people who love you are your friends and family. They're your family if they're related to you, like a mother or a father, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, and cousins. And your friends are anyone you like to spend time with and that you care about. You play with them, you talk to them, and you feel happy when you're around them. Shout out the name of someone in your family. Now, shout out the name of one of your friends. You're really lucky to have those people as your friends and family. Lots of artwork is about friends and family, and we have quite a few paintings at our museum about them. Let's take a look at a few. First, take a look at this little painting made over 200 years ago, back in 1810. Do you think the people in this painting are friends or family? That's right, they're family. It's a mommy and a baby. You can tell because the mommy is cradling the little baby on her lap. And what's that in the background? It looks like a pet dog. Are pets, like dogs and cats, part of a family too? You bet they are. How many people can you see in this painting? One, two, three, four. Does this look like a family to you? That's right. This is the Caverly family in a painting from 1836. We've got daddy, mommy, and a little brother and a sister. The boy's name is George, and he's three years old in this painting. And the little girl is Sarah, and she's only four months old. What color outfit is Sarah wearing? Blue. And what color is George wearing? Green. What does it look like Daddy is reading? A newspaper. George is holding a ruler, and Mommy and Sarah have a book on the table next to them. Look at that really fancy carpet. This looks like a really happy family. Now, let's look at this painting from 1845. Who do you think the people are in this painting? They are a brother and sister. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Have you ever stood for a picture with them and said, cheese? That's kind of what's happening here. This boy and girl had to sit and hold still, but not for a photograph. An artist used a paintbrush, looked at them, and started painting on a canvas. Those kids might have had to sit there for a long time. They're wearing their nicest clothes, and what are the brother and sister holding together? That's right, a book. Their mom and dad must have been very proud that they could read such a big book. Do you have a favorite book? What is it? Here's another boy and girl, and what are they doing? playing outside, and the boy is swinging from a tree. It looks like they're having a lot of fun, and there's some other animals outside with them too. What are they? That's right, they're horses. I don't know if the boy and girl are brother and sister, but it sure looks like they're friends, doesn't it? Now let's go from summer to winter. What are these people doing? That's right, they're ice skating. Have you ever been on ice skates? I've never gone ice skating, so I'm sure if I ever tried, I'd end up like this poor man or woman who fell right over. Here we see different groups of friends having fun and helping each other. This man is tying his friend's skate, and these two boys are playing what? That's right, hockey! 
Do you and your friends play card games or board games? Here's a group of grown-up friends playing a card game. This is the kind of great thing that friends and family can do together to have fun and to spend time with the people they love. This is another way to make a family portrait. This one doesn't have any faces or pictures of people at all. What Valentine's Day shape do you see all over this paper? That's right, those are hearts. And in every single heart, they've written someone's name and when they were born. We've got Matthew, Brayton, DeWitt, Elizabeth, Jane, Aaron, Samuel, Sarah, and Deborah. And right here in the middle, in the biggest heart, are Matthew and Deborah Campbell, who are the mommy and daddy of all of those others. This is called a family record, and this one was made way back in 1816, over 200 years ago. They even left one heart blank, just in case they had another baby and needed to write their name in it too. Let's make our own family record right now. I've got here a piece of poster board, but you can just use a piece of white paper if you want to. I also have some colored foam, although construction paper works too, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and some markers. I'm going to use a purple marker today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to draw a shape here on my foam. And what shape do you think I am going to draw? That's right, a heart. I am going to make one large heart for the center of my family record, and that's where mommy and daddy's name will go. And today we are going to make a family record for James Fenimore Cooper. And James Fenimore Cooper was a very important writer who lived here in Cooperstown 200 years ago. And James Fenimore Cooper and his wife had six children. So I am going to cut out six hearts. And while I do that, let's take a look at a picture of James Fenimore Cooper and his wife, Susan. They are going to be in the center of our family record today. James wrote a book called The Last of the Mohicans, which maybe you'll read in school. All right, so here in the center, I am going to write the name James Fenimore Cooper. That's the daddy. And Susan Augusta Delancey. That's the mommy. And we are going to glue that heart right onto our family record right in the middle. And then we are going to start to put all of the other family names around that. So we've got Elizabeth. We've got Susan, who became a writer too. We've got Caroline. We've got Anne Charlotte. We've got Maria. And we've got Paul. So how many girls did James and Susan have? And how many boys did they have? That's right, five girls and one boy. So there is our family record. And now we're gonna put their name at the very, very top. And now I'm gonna use a little bit of paint and I'm gonna use some pom-poms as my paint brushes today. So I have a big one and a small one. I'm gonna put the big one in my red and I'm gonna make a little design on the top and bottom. And then I'm gonna take my little pom-pom and use some yellow paint and put that right over the top and then I'm gonna put some little yellow dots around my hearts just to give my family record a little bit of a decoration. So you can put your mommy and daddy in the center if you have brothers and sisters, or you can even do grandparents and parents and kids if you want to. Thanks for joining us for this special Preschool Tuesday about friends and family. I hope you enjoyed it. And I have something very special to tell you about. On Tuesday, February 23rd at 10 a.m., we are going to be offering a special live version of Preschool Tuesday through Zoom. We love making these videos for you, but one thing that we really miss is being able to see your happy faces and actually talk to you. So on the 23rd, we are going to offer a special live Preschool Tuesday. It's going to be free of charge and we'll tell a story, we'll look at some more artwork, we'll do a craft, 
and you'll learn how to register by going on our social media or our website where we'll show you how to sign up for this special program. And if it goes really well, we'll do some more as the year goes on. So thanks so much again. We hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.